Hello, everybody. Welcome back. I feel like it's been a while. Yes. <laughs> it's probably been a few days. Um, it, by the time this video will go up, it'll probably be seven days up between uploads. And that's probably the longest we've we've gone in a while. Mainly because um, I've had a traumatic root canal. <laughs> it's not my first. And it went really bad. And I'm in a lot of pain. I got it done last Thursday, last Thursday morning. And it's been a nightmare. And so, yeah, that's what my week going. How's your week? It's been, it's been crazy. Yeah. There was so much soccer going on because we're going to talk about this at the very end of the video. I was really pumped to see the Netherlands-Germany game. It's the international break or it was the international break. The way the schedules are, they're just wild. It's still international break for the Gold Cup teams. Like someone like Emily Fox couldn't be at the big game for Arsenal. So it's just kind of crazy, you know? Yeah. Wild stuff. But what we're going to talk about today, the, the game that just happened yesterday... Uh, U.S. Women's National Team versus Colombia. It was the quarterfinals of the Gold Cup. United States coming off a a wild loss against Mexico. And, you know, we talked about it in our last video. I, I can see why. I mean, Mexico's a great team. And not just because I'm, you know. <laughs> <laughs> they were fearless. Oh, it was the quarterfinals, USA versus Colombia. I don't think it helped Colombia that United States was pretty pissed off. You never want to play the U.S. after they have just lost because... They, you know, they come back with a vengeance. Yes, they were hungry. Alex Morgan was playing like she didn't give an F in a good way. She was fighting everybody. I liked it. <laughs> she was feisty. And I think United States needed that. We're not going to really talk about the game. There's, there's so many good analyses. Is that how you'd say it, Sarah? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Out there. We're not going to really talk about the game in particular. We are going to talk about one kind of aspect of it because it kind of got wild out there and it yeah Colombia is a very physical team yes and there was a couple moments in particular um that we're going to talk about I, I guess we will start with the penalty kick because um as we saw penalty Alex Morgan goes down it's, it's awarded a PK to United States and some some crazy shenanigans were going on I know tactically it's a it's a tactic to kind of get do the mind games with the opposite team but I do think that the Colombian team kind of took it a little bit too far I think they said three minutes two or three minutes of the Colombian team wasting time and uh, Alex Morgan going in, trying to hold the spot for the uh, Lindsay Horan, who was the person who eventually took the PK. I don't know. So they didn't mess up with the grass. I'm actually not quite sure. But the Colombian player running to her goalie right before Lindsay Horan is supposed to take her PK. How that was not a yellow card, I think it has most people baffled how that wasn't at least a yellow card for at least one of the players. These are wild tactics. <laughs> How it did not, you know, a lot of people are saying the ref lost control of this game early on. That was in the 10th minute. And she's kind of allowing these kind of shenanigans. I do think the ref kind of, you know, because sometimes you just want to let the players play. You know, you don't want to always kind of call too many fouls, too many yells. You want to let the players play. But there is a good middle ground between letting them play and actually calling fouls. Because the Colombian team were being very aggressive. They're being very... There's a list. I have a list of the casualties okay. right here. <laughs> nice Wonger went down pretty hard. Tim Coffey, Sophia Smith went down really hard. Lindsay Haran went down and then she kind of got her own little revenge and pushed. I forget which uh, Columbia player. So because we think we see so many people getting ACL tears, so many people getting injured. You know, we see so many injuries happening out there that when you do have an aggressive team, it's like, you don't want anyone to get hurt. And I say that every video, you don't want to get anyone hurt. But you also want the, the ref to have control over the game. And I'm going to read this comment. Someone said, the ref is to blame for not getting the game under control. Somebody could have, someone could have been seriously injured multiple times. However, it, it was good to see the U.S. rising to the occasion and fighting back. There was two instances with Trinity Rodman. Trinity Rodman was not holding back when she went in the corner with uh, the Colombian player. But as soon as the play was over, Trinity says, you know, back the F off. And you could read the words. And she said it then. Then when the ref came over to talk to them, then she said it, I think to like Linda Casado. She said it to Linda Casado, like back the F off. Yeah. She was not messing around. I had to rewind it a few times, you know, to watch it back. It was, it was intense. You know, and it's good to see, like that comment said, I think United States sometimes have had that criticism. They're not physical enough. They don't kind of have that fight in them that sometimes the other teams do. Trinity kind of stand up for 
herself and then Alex Morgan. It was really good to see. It's almost like they have to fight like the underdog. Not that they are, but kind of have that fighter mentality saying, if we don't fight, we're not going to win these games. We have to fight. Um, because there was another point where Alex Morgan was defending her, you know, kind of kind of got a little bit handsy. Some people didn't think that that was even that bad. But then Alex Morgan goes and then they started to tussle. Trinity Rodman runs from 20 meters away and says, no, 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 no one's going to mess with Alex right now. So, I mean... I do like the Alex Morgan was not playing. She's, you know, she was, she's like, I might be a mom, but I'm not messing around because we remember Alex Morgan is fighting for her spot too. You know, she was left off the original roster. She says, I'm doing whatever it takes. I know what I have to do to, to not only stay here, but stay here and say, yeah, we can't have this team without you. I do like to say the opposite side because I'm not saying Columbia is completely physical because Columbia was not messing around. But then again, somebody did say, someone goes, Columbia plays dirty. And this is a comment I saw on YouTube. And then someone says to them, he said, it's physical, not dirty. There's a difference. So I mean, it could be kind of like a conversation, you know. I know some players do like it really physical out there. And I know sometimes that's a style of play for some teams. Some teams like it more physical. Some teams don't. Um, I, I do think it got a little out of hand last night, but like that comment also said, it's good to see Americans having to kind of fight, say, I'm going to fight for every single thing. And then someone goes, I'm all for letting the players play, but this escalated past that terrible officiating. Yeah. You know, that thing with the penalty kind of set the tone. You're not getting a, even a yellow card for that. And maybe Columbia went into this game knowing, hey, Maybe, maybe America's kind of a little, uh, kind of soft and we're going to get them, you know, they're soft. We're not, you know, they're like soft cheese, <laughs> a good brie. <laughs> so that was kind of the mentality of the game um, because that's, that's mostly what stuck out. Obviously United States won beautiful game, beautiful goalie, beautiful goalkeeper, a listener. Um, a listener had her hundredth cap and... Ooh. She celebrated by doing amazing. No, <laughs> uh, she was amazing as usual out there with some iconic saves. Yeah. Two in particular were amazing. Well, it could have been a different game. There's a few times I was wishing I was the ball and she was saving me. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Yeah, she had a few amazing saves and it could have been a different story. And she's another one. You know, some people are saying, you know, is Casey Murphy going to move in there? Is she going to be number one? Alyssa Nair said, not only is she not going to be number one, you know, she has no intentions of not being number one yeah Alyssa Alyssa went in there and said I'm number one two and three <laughs> mm -hmm. pretty much um but the final score was three no so good to see and then one of the, I didn't mention a couple I don't know I'm not sure what Colombian player it was but she was like on the ground like rolling like simulation it was like it was like an acting scene out there for a while the, the Oscars are coming up and that whole PK debacle was going on. But she, it was such a delay. And then she like was rolling on the ground. <laughs> Very dramatic. Very dramatic. Uh, the score ended up being 3-0. Lindsay nailed that PK after all those games. After all those mind games, Lindsay still nailed the PK. Um, Jenna Nicewanger. And Jaden Shaw, she is a superstar in the making. And then Jaden Shaw, I mean, 19 years old, scoring so much, doing it so beautifully. So excited. Um, that was the quarterfinals. Uh, the United States are going to play their other rival, uh, Canada, on the 6th uh, in the semis. Some people think the big rivalry is USA-Mexico, but most people, I'd still say most people think the big rivalry is still Canada versus the United States. Um, a lot of people get excited to see that. Okay, so what did everyone think of the game? And then a lot of people also are saying this lineup that was for the, the quarters is the lineup. Everyone's saying it worked so well. It was the lineup, a good cohesion with the players. Uh, after the game, we saw Kelly O'Hara doing some post-match commentary. <laughs> um, yes, and sorry, but she looked good doing it. <laughs> she looked so good. Like, she, her skin looked just so beautiful freckles yes well they kind of covered her freckles up with the makeup Ugh, jerks <laughs> no but her pony you know she her ponytail was extra bouncy and she had some good commentary as well yeah and a lot of people thought the commentary the attacking third commentary after the match where it was her 
Darian Jenkins and I forget who, but they said that was the best uh, commentary they saw around the web. I hope she, I hope she continues to do the commentary. Kelly is so freaking cute. Would you say she's your number one crush? Yes, I was gonna say um, back off. But ended up three nil. I don't. I honestly don't think Columbia had a chance. I think United States was so fired up that there was nothing that was gonna beat them. So what did everyone think? You know, what did you think about the game? Yes. But what did you think about the physicality of the game? And are you someone who thinks Columbia, although they were aggressive, were not dirty? Because I, I don't want to be one of those people who said, you know, United States di- didn't have their moments either because they did. But I, they were kind of playing, going along with the flow of the, con- you know, Colombians taking the lead and the aggressiveness. So what did everyone think about that? This oh, I'm going to mention this briefly because we actually I actually was going to do a video on it, but then I had my root canal from hell um, <laughs> that I have to go back to the dentist tomorrow morning. Um, but the UEFA Olympic spots are set. It's official. It's going to be obviously France because France is the host. It's going to be Spain. Then like we talked about, it was either going to be uh, Netherlands or the Netherlands or Germany. First, I thought, you know, at I was kind of rooting for both. <laughs> I kind of really was. I like the German team, but I really like the, the the Dutch team too. But going into that match, it was going to be very tough for the Dutch team. They didn't have Jill Roard uh, with her ACL. And then it came out that they, uh, Viv and Victoria Polova both were injured as well. So they didn't have the three of them. So it was going to be pretty tough without those three key players. And quite substantial because they did lose two to zero against Germany. The German team played really well though, but without those three key components, it was going to be hard. Um, somebody was talking about like Yonker out, like people were already like saying Yonker out and he brought the subs in too late for the Netherlands, but heartbreaking to see that they will not be at the Olympics. The, the Netherlands. I'm going to miss my Dutchies. Yeah. <laughs> it, not going to be the Netherlands, but, Netherlands, but um, you know, they were kind of beat up. And also, uh, Viv apparently is going to go back in for surgery and going to be out for a couple more weeks, which is upsetting to hear. Hopefully she didn't come back too soon. I mean, uh, just hopefully her recovery from that is okay. So, and then also we're not going to talk about this. It is the Arsenal play Tottenham over the weekend and they, they beat Tottenham in a huge game at the Emirates. Huge, huge, huge. And Victoria Pulova, I believe, is still out. She didn't play this weekend. Um, so she, who, I'm not quite sure about her update, but good to see Arsenal get a big win at the Emirates um, without Viv, without Victoria. They are fighting for their lives for that WSL for that WSL uh, title. I, I, is it still in the cards? Maybe, maybe not. But they're doing everything they can do. What did everyone think? Um, you know? The optics of the United States, you know, Trinity Rodman against four or five Colombians <laughs> is actually pretty funny, and I love it. I'm sorry. I love that. I love that clip. I, I just keep watching it over and over again. Well, and people are also saying, you know, she's living up to the Rodman family name. I mean, that's sports. I love it when, you know, you defend your teammates. Like, you're like, you're not going to, you know, when she saw Alex get pushed, she goes, oh, hell no. No one's pushing Alex Morgan, you know, and she, she goes, she's fearless. She goes right in there and says no one's pushing her. And they're probably very frustrated with, you know, how physical they were being. So yeah. they're like, obviously wanting to fight back. You know, it is kind of exciting. You kind of start yelling at the TV like, whoa, 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 what's going on? You just want to get, you don't want to get anyone to get hurt. Maybe a little shovey shovey match. That was always a little fun. Oh, yes. <laughs> but I love that. that clip. It's, Sarah was just watching and we're just sitting here. She loves that clip with her when she's fighting everyone. <laughs> but and then someone also said when um, Alex and Trin started to kind of get into a fight, then um, Lindsay Horan had to come over and be the voice of reason. <laughs> Isn't she always on the other end of it? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and the whole time I'm thinking, where's the ref? Where's the ref in all of this? Is she hiding in yeah. the stands or something? That's what the um, commentator said. Where's the ref? The ref is missing. What happened to the ref? Because she wasn't. She had no control over this game. I think she pretended to look away at that time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> also, happy trails to the Netherlands. I am. I am sad about them not going to the Olympics. Um, uh, but I do think we're gonna do a video on this soon. We haven't done a lovers video in a while. Although Beth and Viv had a nice. World Cup, they weren't going to go to the World Cup together. 
because of injuries. Now they can maybe do something fun this this summer. You know, they're going to get, they can just have a relaxing summer. I know they had a stressful summer re- recouping their ACLs last summer. So this upcoming summer, but, it, you know, they could turn it into a positive. You know, maybe Beth and Viv can have some fun. Um, Adopt another dog. Yeah, full house. Um, but upset, you know, Netherlands, it was going to be an uphill battle. Happy, I'm happy for the team Germany. I'm happy for Poppy and you know they i've seen too many i've seen too many tears from the german team in the last couple years it made me sad so yeah i know spain ended up winning nations league so that's awesome for them i mean they ended up winning obviously the big things i think are getting the olympic spots but uh also you know winning a major tournament like that you bumps pumps pumps you up in the fifa rankings you always want to win big tournaments like that questions comments down below what did you think trinity robin you know she wasn't taking any shit. Either was Alex Morgan. <laughs> <laughs> Questions, comments down below. We'll talk to everyone later. Have a great night. Bye. Bye.